Special thanks to Rust Chance for sponsoring today's video. Go to rustchance.com and use code SVEN to get a 50 cent starting bonus. Yo, what's up? My name is Sven and today we're going to talk about my 4.5k Rust Steam Inventory. In this video, I purely want to share with you guys how I made an insane profit on Rust skins. I just want to make clear that all the prices you see in this video are indications. The Rust skin market changes all the time and so skins can go up and down in price. This of course is also the point where you can make an insane profit. Now there's a few things you should know before we jump into my actual inventory. While I show you guys my inventory and how much profit I made per skin, I will talk about how I started things you should know and expect and i will give you guys a bunch of tips and tricks that i learned in the past year of investing in these skins i started out pretty big because i sold some skins that i owned from csgo i had a bunch of steam wallet money i also sold a knife that was worth quite a lot after figuring out how the rust skin market worked i felt pretty confident pretty fast into investing in a bunch of skins the rust skin market at this point is very unique of course there's a lot of theories about skins that are in sets or skins skins that particularly look good to go up in price but for me that's not even my most important focus now see this is how it works rust releases a new set of skins every week this basically happens at exactly the same time every week you can buy any of the released skins for them for that week when the week is over new skins will be introduced and the old skins won't be directly available for purchase anymore at least not from rust Rust also will never ever release that same skin ever again to be available in the store. And so that means that there's only one week of time ever you'll be able to purchase a particular skin. Skins purchased by anyone will go into players steam inventories. The easiest way to explain this scenario is with an example. Let's say Rust adds a new skin in the market for a new week. The skin gets sold exactly a thousand times and the week goes over and a new market gets introduced. This means that this particular skin is only in rotation in the total of a thousand times. From that point, the only way for other people to get that skin is through the community market from Steam. Of course, if people sell that skin then. Now here's the interesting part. No matter how many times someone sells that particular skin in the Steam market, the total amount of that skin being in rotation will never change. It cannot go up, it cannot go down as Rust will never sell that skin anymore. Now due to a lot of factors, including the fact that Rust gets new players every day and some people take a break, etc. And that the store is only available for a week, there's a big chance that a bunch of people that would originally want a skin actually turn out to not buy it in the week they can and go to the community market to buy it. This creates demand. Now obviously for skins that look really good or match with a the set, these skins will most likely be more in demand of skins that don't. But bottom line, without overcomplicating this and without mentioning another hundred reasons, it comes down to a point that just because this is the way the market works, your skins will pretty much always increase of value over time. Almost every, if not every skin that I've purchased in the past year is worth at least what I bought it for. It is basically extremely unlikely that the skin will be worth less than that you bought it for originally. And once again, that is purely because the way the market works. Now let's just say that you want to do this. Of course, you don't have to start with an insane budget, but either way, no matter how big you scale it, you need a budget. You can even start with around 5 euros if you wanted to. I have always invested on the long term and this is what I can recommend, mostly. Reasoning why here I will talk about, but I feel like doing anything here on the short term can make you a lot of money, but can also potentially make you miss a lot of money. Since I play it on the long term, I have basically not sold any skin yet. Now it's really purely up to yourself here what you want. And if you're looking at making at least a bunch of money, I would recommend to never play it on the short term now, there's a lot more strategies and a lot more information to know about this but since this video is purely about my way and my inventory i'm purely going to talk about that otherwise this video will become too long and too complicated for most people so from here on in the video we will go over my inventory i will not go over each skin but i'll pick out a couple of them and we'll talk about how much i originally bought that skin for why i bought it what my idea was with it and how much profit i would have made if i sold that skin at this point in the video all right so the idea here is that we just go from page 1 to 39 
And I'll just pick out a bunch of skins and, and tell you the story behind them. And I'll check what I originally bought them for. Now, I'm going to try to purely focus on the skins that are pretty common or rare. Sense of, like, skins that most people know. So, for example, Chinese Lantern. Actually, pretty interesting skin here. But the Chinese Lantern, I bought only one. It was actually 3 euro 50. It's 4 euro 50 now. So... It's worth over a euro. I made a euro profit with that one. So there's not really anything like specific here. But we have the doodle boots and the doodle gloves. And it's actually interesting. Let's check how much I bought them for. One euro thirty. And the doodle boots were 90 euro cents. So I easily made double profit on these. Now I have more. So as you can see here. But then we have the pants and the hoodie ones as well. And we have the chest plate and the face mask. And then the vest, coffee can, kilt, and AK. I have the AK here. It was 1 euro 75. It's 4 euros now. That's really, really good. For the next one, we have the doodle face mask. It was 90 euro cents. And it's 1 euro 50 now. This almost double. And the chest plate was also 90 euro cents. It's 1 euro 34 now. So you can see here that for the whole set, the chest plate and the face mask actually goes for the least. So the vest, 2 euro 24. I bought it for 90 euro cents. The kilt as well for 90, it's 4 euro 50. And the coffee can, aka the doodle helmet, was also 90 euro cents, it's 1 euro 90 now. So this is like the first set that we're ta gonna talk about and the first idea here. Theory is actually very simple. If a skin is going to be in a set, it will always go up in value. Almost every skin, if not every single skin, never goes below the price that you paid for. So in worst worst case scenario, a skin that costs 90 euro cents would maybe become 89 euro cents or stay around 90 and you won't make any profit but you won't lose any money either all right so back to the first page there isn't really like anything else here that's interesting all right so the next page interesting door here is this one the snowman door uh why why do i say that because i still remember when i bought that so the snowman door is actually hasn't gone up that much it was 2 euro 65 and it's 3 euro 24 now but Again, it's, it went up, so Glorious AK is worth quite a lot because of the glowing tip. Skins that have anything with glow usually go up as well. Oh yeah, and here we have the training gloves and the training boots. And once again, these are part of a set and you can feel that coming. Usually right now when Rust accepts a skin, they do it in parts. So one week there's the gloves and the boots. Next week is the pants and the chest plate. Next week is, you know. So these are part of a set and, and went up in value. So if we're just gonna go for training real quick. Check the look, check a look at what I have here. I remember when the when the hoodie and pants for the training came out first. These were the first two training items that came. And they were very unique compared to the other hoodies and pants that were there. Because there wasn't really like any clean black looking and then with the white lines like a bit of adidas kind of people knew that it was gonna go up it, it i knew it was gonna become a valuable skin and as you can see i have one two three four five six six pants and they're worth six euro 23 now so i made an insane profit on this now for the gloves and the boots the boots were probably 90 and the gloves were one euro 30 as always coffee can is not worth that much but it still went up same for the vest but then you have the kilt and the kilt here 12 euro 42 unfortunately i only bought one but again kilts just go up higher especially when they're matching with a lot of other skins as well face mask and chest plate again not that much higher you can see there's a lot of a that i have a lot of ak skins that's true uh, I do. And a lot of them I actually bought from the Steam market. Because I just wanted a lot of AK skins. Is that an investment? No, not really. Is uh, Was I expected to make profit? No, not really. So I know that I bought the bet for 1 euro 75. And it's 2 euro 50 now. So that's pretty good. Azu. Another set. They never released a hoodie or anything for this. But this was a very uh, promising set when it came out. It looked very good. I know it has gone down in price. But overall... Um, I made profit on this. Pretty much any of these went up in price. This box, glowing. Hey, remember? Glowing skins always go up in price. Always. Night Sky Large Box. As you can see, I bought it for €2.20. It's €7.09 now. This is pretty recently uh, released box. And funny enough is that when I bought these quite a long time ago, I actually still made profit on them. I paid exactly €23 Euros for this chest plate. And so it's... 32 euros now so I, I almost made 10 euro profit on that and there's a bunch of other skins like the big grin glory ak that i own that i have this with uh tactical the chest plate pretty good looking skin in my opinion oh yeah alien red ak a 60 euro skin as of right now and this ak i also did not buy originally on the store i bought it myself 17 euro and nine cents so i made an insane profit on buying this skin as I came from selling CSGO skins, I basically had a bunch of 
in the, uh, inventory money in my Steam. And so my friends basically told me like, hey, that skin looks good. It has a glowing tip. Uh, that skin is worth a lot. Because back then all the skins were worth also a lot, but in a different skill. So back then that AK was 17 euros, but it was, I think, the most the second most expensive AK skin. And I bought it because I thought it looked cool and I had the Steam wallet money anyway. Let's just talk straight away about the big green in that case as well. The big green is 322 euro now. It shifts a lot. I know it was up higher uh, maybe a week ago. And this skin I bought for 80 euros back then as well when I bought the alien red AK and at also when I bought the glory AK it's 234 euros now and the glory AK I bought for the glory AK I actually bought for 43 euros there's a bunch of doors here again almost everything here went up higher than that I originally bought it for glowing box went up a lot higher than it was in the store glowing door same thing same thing Everything that glows, guys, goes up. Everything that glows, even this AK. Glowing door again went up, not that much. Glowing box here also went up, not that much. Chest plate and face mask are barely worth anything. They are basically the same as how you bought them for your worst. So if you're willing to invest into anything, chest plate and face mask are worth the lead. And here we have the glory stuff. Now, this is again a set, and I knew it was gonna go up, and it did. So, so. On the long term for me, how it really like turned out in is that I just set to a point that I just bought every skin that was available once. And if there was a skin that I knew was going to go up, I bought it more. As you can see on the screen now, you see the blackout hoodies. These I bought up a lot. And why? Because I just knew it was going to go up. One, it's part of a set. Two, it looks unique. Three, it fits with a lot of skins. And four, just the way it looks, I really like it. I feel like I'm on a point that if you play Rust a lot, you can kind of estimate what skins are going to be used and what not. Just played not worth a lot. Same for the face mask. Again, it is a set though. They are worth more than they got sold for. The gloves went up. The boots went up. Every Everything went up except for the chest plate and the face mask. And there's two things why. One, the chest plate and the face mask generally go up slower in price or not. And second of that is that I know for a fact this skin is so recent. So many people bought it because it looks so similar to a skin that I'll show you. And so people thought that it went, would go up. But since so many people bought it as well, there's more available in rotation. And so the price doesn't go up that much anymore, unfortunately. There's not so much rarity on it anymore. So Road Rome boots funny enough i have a lot and this was uh, just a yolo investment they were 90 euros and they are worth 96 now so technically i made six cent profit now, i just thought that these boots would go up higher but they didn't bottom line what i'm what i want to say with these boots and what you should know is that i never was scared of losing my money they could for all i know be 90 or 80 euro cents maybe i could just sell all of them and i would basically have almost all my money back anyway all right let's continue and let's try not to make this video too long because there's just too many many skins that there's just too much to talk about oh yeah fireworks pack there's actually a couple of items here that are uh, very unique in rust and especially around the event what rust does is they sell uh, specific items and in this case they have the large fireworks pack large fireworks pack was 8 euro 75 but now it's almost 20 euro when it's about event items they will always go up so bottom line how much is my inventory worth right now? Let's actually go check that out. So according to this website on steam.tools, it says that my total inventory for items in Rust is worth 4.363k USD. So that's basically, I would say, about 4.5k. I recently did a giveaway with the tempered face mask that I gave away that was about 100 bucks. Now you might wonder, okay, so how much did you actually end up spending on it? And I also spent a lot on it because I bought skins not just for investment because they looked good. I used the money that I made to buy even more skins. And I was very lucky with the uh, big grin and all those skins to go up in value. I think I would have spent about 2k USD. One point, between 1.5k and 2k USD. How much profit did I make in total? I would say I made about 2.5k USD profit. All right, that was it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope it's useful in some ways. Now, I do have further plans for videos around this subject. As for example, maybe I'll make a video about buying a particular skin and see how much we can make from investing in that skin over a couple of weeks. Or maybe try different approaches, different strategies, put them in a video and see how they turn out with you guys together. If you'd like to see any of this or more around this subject, feel free to let me know in the comments. Now make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel for more. I'd really appreciate that. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Take care.